Hey, my now my dog Doug wants Badgett, to come in. Can I get my dog chatting in? Chatting with Maggie Maraz. She is the church planter for a church in Durham, North Carolina called Bull City Vineyard. And Maggie is going to be one of the presenters at the Church Planters Academy, May 3rd through the 5th, 2012. Maggie's in Durham. I'm in Minneapolis. Hi, Maggie. Hello, Doug. Tell us, uh, tell us about uh, how Bull City Vineyard Church uh, got its start. You were saying a moment ago before we started this that you just started, uh, you just had your birthday for the church, one year anniversary? Yeah. How yeah, did we, you, how'd you start? Yeah, so we turned one in October and uh, we started off last year doing um, just some open houses and really focused our first year on building relationships and um, prayer walking and getting to know the neighbors. So we was, found... Was Durham a new city for you? Did you move there uh, with the um, intention of starting the church or how did you end up in Durham? We, um, we had been in Chapel Hill for a long time, which is the neighboring town. Um, Durham is very different community. So yeah, essentially very new to us. And we're, we're in the inner city, um, which is new to us, too, to find ourselves in that place. Um, but, yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. So, so how, did things, how did things start for you? Were you? Was this your idea? Were you sent by uh, another church or by a denomination? Or how did you get, how did you get going? Yeah, not, no, not, not my idea. Um, I think uh, what's happened is I came to Christ rather late, a bit of a slow bloomer. And uh, from the get-go, it seemed that what God was going to do with me and through me was going to be new stuff. Um, so I came into the Vineyard Church while I was in seminary in Kentucky at Asbury. And um, then my sending church is uh, the Lexington Vineyard Community Church in Lexington, Kentucky. So when I came back home to North Carolina, um, we began to, to pray and, and make plans for starting Bull City Vineyard. And uh, we're starting with the intention of, of remaining within a mile. And lots of the people now that are coming, um, we gather on Sunday nights for um, a chapel, and we also have a cookout every week. Um, most everyone is walking to church. Really? Yeah. Now, in, <laughs> in, in your tradition, in the, in the Vineyard Church tradition, is it unusual to have a woman church planter or the person who's uh, kind of leading the church and spearheading the, the effort? Yeah, this is, this is rather new. Um, from what I understand, uh, Vineyard came into an egalitarian position in 06. Um, like and 2006? So <laughs> yes, 2006. <laughs> Talk about late bloomers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so um, there are a few of us. Um, there's more co-pastoring couples. Mm -hmm. um, I am married, but my husband is a businessman and would tell you that he's, he's not the pastor. Mm-hmm. Does that, does that he's, happen he's, sometimes at meetings? Like people meet the two of you and start talking to him, uh, just assuming that he's the pastor, f you know, from there? Yeah, well, that happens quite a lot. Um, we kind of joke about, Vineyard's been really good about recognizing um, the pastor's spouse as opposed to pastor's wife, which is oh. nice for him. He, he likes to joke that at, at events that he would gather up all the pastor's wives to go shopping. That's <laughs> fantastic. Well, well Ma Ma Maggie, you're going to be part of the Church Planners Academy. Um, uh, tell us a little bit about what your what your hopes are for that for that event, and um, and give people a little taste of of what you're looking forward to. Mm. Um, well, I guess my heart um, mostly is for prayer and hospitality. Mm -hmm. So I think that that that's something that that I would be interested in sharing about as I learn about um, gathering people and, and creating space for people to encounter God, um, being very welcoming, Th that's kind of who we are. And um, I think that, that, that that'll be my focus. I, um, I like, you know, for the most part, I kind of, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, yeah. But 
but I know God does, and um, it's His thing. So I learn from Him, and and hopefully share what what I'm learning from Him, and draw other people into it. That's that's pretty much what's happening. A lot of it seems like an accident, but I know it's not because it's it's the way that God works, mm -hmm. and it seems to work out. Fabulous. And if people want to find uh, the Bull City Vineyard on online, they can find that uh, on a website and uh, on Facebook? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're on Facebook, um, and I'm on Facebook. Uh, we've got a website, pretty simple, uh, vineyardnc.com. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it's interesting. A lot of the people that we are connecting with are not connected with technology. Um, so it's kind of interesting that our website serves a kind of a different purpose for us rather than immediately impacting our yeah. church. Yeah. I think um, a lot of what God is doing with us is is um, using us as a bridge to places and people beyond where we're planting yeah, right. to kind of have a glimpse of, of some of the stuff that he's up to that, that they might not be a part of, but that they could be a part of in terms of supporting us and praying for us and all that kind of stuff. Great. Well, Maggie's going to be part of the Church Planters Academy. You can find it at churchplantersacademy.com. It's a start, starting event for the Church Planters Academy. It will be May 3rd through the 5th, 2012 in Minneapolis. Maggie and uh, 15 or 20 other uh, church planting entrepreneurs are going to be part of the event, and you should too. Thanks a lot, Maggie. Thanks, Doug. Yeah.